Water, the Clearwater Police Department. I'm here representing the Pinellas County Deadly Force Task Force uh, and uh, we'd like to cover an incident that we were investigating that started this morning. This morning at 3.38 hours, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department was dispatched to 2175 Indigo Drive, reference to a call from a resident uh, who advised her ex-boyfriend was at the front door uh, armed with a handgun. Uh, this ex-boyfriend is Josue Arias, and I'm going to spell that J-O-S-U-E A-R-I-A S. His birthday is 12-27 of 1988. He ultimately made entry into this residence. The uh, two, re the two um, occupants of the residence, a female and a male, uh, retreated inside uh, two separate rooms. Uh, the female resident armed herself with a handgun to defend herself. Um, the, um, uh, Mr. Arias uh, continued to uh, you know, disrupt the inside, threaten the residents. Um, make statements that were very concerning that, uh, that he was uh, there for no other good reason than to do violence. Clearly he had committed an armed burglary at this point of the investigation, or this point of the case. Um, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department arrived on scene. They immediately set up resources in a tactical manner and were attempting to uh, make conversation and, and to um, uh, enter into a dialogue with Mr. Arias in an attempt to defuse the situation. Um, so at one point, the female, the female occupant was able to uh, come out of the residence. She uh, had a handgun with her. She placed it down immediately, was, um, made contact with the deputies, and was escorted to safety. Uh, the, uh, the, the event continued on for some time, with the Sheriff's Department trying to give very clear lawful commands through the use of a, a, uh, a, a, a rescue vehicle that is used to you know, provide some safety to the officers or the deputies, but also able for them to use a PA to give out clear commands. Uh, Mr. Arias did not uh, follow these commands, and at one point, when the female occupant had exited the residence, she had left a cell phone with an open 911 call that uh, was giving the officers the ability to hear some of the events as they were unfolding inside the residence. The deputies very uh, wisely uh, were able to pick up that their calling commands was actually agitating the suspect and were very um, dutiful in trying to, uh, to, 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 to stop doing that in an effort to try to de-escalate the situation. Um, however, at one point, Mr. Arias actually comes to the front door with the other male occupant uh, and has the uh, handgun, uh, a black revolver as described by the witnesses, pointed at the male occupant's head. Um, he eventually releases that particular person and he is able to get away and make contact with the deputies and be escorted to safety. And, uh, but then, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Arias then retreats inside of the residence. While inside the residence, he makes very concerning comments about not wanting to go back to prison, that he's not going to go back to prison. Uh, and, uh, of course, that created a, a concern that this individual was, um, you know, intent on not letting the situation resolve itself peacefully. Uh, the deputies continue to try to negotiate and to get Mr. Arias to comply, uh, but eventually is essentially unsuccessful. Mr. Arias at one point then comes out of the residence. Um, prior to him coming out, in one of the previous encounters, he had seen at some of the locations where the deputies were deployed. Uh, as he came out of this residence, armed with a handgun in his hand, uh, continues to uh, you know, move about the, the foyer patio area and walks into the yard and appears to be looking for the deputies and where their locations are, uh, at which point um, the deputies uh, neutralized the target and fired and, uh, and, uh, and hit Mr. Arias an unknown amount of time uh, at this point. I would like to stress this is all very preliminary information. There's still a lot of work to be done, uh, but Mr. Arias was deceased at, scene, uh, was, was deceased at the scene and um, the uh, entire encounter from the moment the call came in and the uh, first shot being fired was um, about uh, one hour and 11 minutes. So there was an ample amount of time for Mr. Arias to, to, to surrender. Clearly the uh, deputies were, were fully, you know, clearly identified and uh, unfortunately this, this encounter occurred. We still have much, much to do in the investigation. As I said, this is all preliminary. Uh, the deputies that involved are being interviewed right now as we speak. Uh, the two residents that lived in the home are being, um, are being sp are spoken to as well. Uh, and we have several witness uh, officers, deputies that, uh, that we need to talk to as well. So it's very preliminary. Uh, we have a lot of uh, body-worn camera footage that we still need to review and evaluate. Um, of course, the forensic process is, is just getting underway. The weather has hindered that a little bit, but it is, 
it, there's a lot of work to be done with that as well. Um, so I, I'm not sure there's too many questions that I can answer, but uh, I will be more than happy to try to take a few if there are some. Um, but uh, as you're well aware in Pinellas County, um, to, um, to provide the highest level of transparency and the highest level of uh, accountability, we have a system in place through a, a memorandum of, of understanding. Uh, so how the, the, the Sheriff's Department is not an investigating agency in this. They are not uh, have any type of investigative responsibility other than we use their forensic processing units to process the scene. Uh, the, the investigation team that is going to be looking at this incident will be uh, underneath my command and it will be led by Clearwater detectives working in cooperation with St. Petersburg Police Department detectives and Pinellas Park Police Department detectives. And we will uh, uh, continue to do that investigation and, uh, and, and certainly provide more information as it becomes available and, and with additional details. Be more than happy to try to answer any questions.